Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ask Amber and today I'm going to show you how to set up your avatar using the brand new SDK3. In this video, we're just gonna go over the basics of getting your avatar uploaded, so let's get started. So I've already dragged my FBX and my textures folder. I've opened her up and extracted all of my materials. I've gone into my materials folder and I have applied all of my shaders to my materials already. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, you can go ahead and go and watch my video uploading your first avatar to PC and that'll help you out a whole lot. I went into my model, I made sure that legacy blend shape normals is checked. I go into my rig, change it to humanoid, I configured my model so that all of my bones are correct, and now she is ready for the SDK and I added my SDK into her already. Then just add new component, VR chat, avatar descriptor, click on that, and then this will open right here. For your animator, you wanna make sure that your controller is none because you're going to have all of your animations set up with your descriptor. So the next thing I'm gonna do is take a look at my avatar descriptor. We're gonna start at the top. I'm gonna to go to my view. This is really cool in the new one. You can actually click on edit and you can drag your view ball exactly to where you want. It. Now I actually want my avatar to be a specific height so in the Y category I'm going to type in 1.25 and then what I like to do is line up my actual avatar scale to this view ball because I want my avatar to be that specific height. Okay, now that she's that specific height, I'm gonna click edit again, go to the side and just drag this exactly where I want it to be, which is about halfway out of the head. Okay, so now that my view position is done, let's go down to lip sync. Now this is pretty much the same as the other one. I'm going to auto detect, drag my body in here, click on visine blend shape, and there's all of my visines. Okay, cool, that part's done. I'm just going to collapse this. Now this is a new section. We're going to enable our eye look. And so this is really cool. You have different ways of creating your eye movements in game that you didn't have before. You can choose between calm and excited and shy and confident. Now these just affect how often your eye moves. So I want my eye move super often, so I move it all the way up to excited. And then confident is how long you stay looking at other characters. So I want to be confident because I want my eyes to stay looking at other characters for longer. So I can collapse that. With your eye transforms, this is gonna be how far your eyes look to the left, right, up, and down. For my left eye, I'm gonna choose left eye. For my right eye, I'm gonna choose right eye. And then in my rotation states, I'm going to set how far I want them to rotate. My looking straight, I'm gonna leave just as it is. So looking up, I'm gonna do negative 30. And looking down, I'm gonna do 30. For looking left, I think it's negative 30. Yep. And then for right, I'm going to do 30. Now you can put whatever numbers you want in here so that they can not look as far left, right, up, or down. It's totally up to you. It's kind of the beauty of having this be fully customizable. So I'm just going to leave mine as it is like that. For my eyelids, I have blend shapes. You can actually add bones into your eyelids now and customize that, but this is a regular model that I imported and I didn't add the bones in Blender, so I'm going to go ahead with blend shapes. My eyelids mesh, the blend shapes are on the face, which is on the body, so I'm going to drag my body into here. Looking up and down, I don't have any blend shapes that are specifically for the eyes looking up and the eyes looking down, so I'm going to set both of these to none. And then for blink, I'm going to scroll down and I'm just going to go to regular old blink. Now you can change this to blink happy too if you want, because blink happy is really cute. So if every time you blink, you want it to blink like that, you can. But I like the regular blink because I have blink happy on some of my emotes, and I'm cool with that. Also now your eyelids, your eyes, all of that is all set up. We're going to skip over playable layers for this moment and just go down to lower body. You're going to want to leave these two checked. These just help you with movement and stuff like that when you're in game, like walking forward and backwards and stuff like that. So this is for regular tracking and this is for full body tracking. Leave both of those checked and those are checked automatically so you can just leave them that way and not worry about it. So now at this point, you can actually upload your avatar this way and it'll put your generic hand gestures on and your generic emotes on, just the same ones that would update with your regular VR chat avatar. 
and you can go into your SDK, go into your control panel, go ahead and upload this as you would normally. The, another thing that's really cool is that when you go into Builder, now you can build and test your avatar into VRChat from local without anyone else seeing your avatar. So you're the only one that can see it, you can test it out, make sure it works. And then when you're done iterating over and over again, and you have it just the way you want, then you can build and publish. So then with this all set, you can go ahead and build and publish for Windows, and you'll have your standard set of emotes. I will be going much further into detail on playable layers, menus, parameters, and all of that stuff in future videos, so stay tuned for those. But in the meantime, have fun uploading your avatar, and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, 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 oh,